Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Well, today I have one more video for you showing uh, part of my trip to the UK. And what we're going to look at today is my visit to the National Railway Museum in York. And the museum there is something that I've wanted to see for a number of years. However, all of my previous trips were to southern England down around London and Oxford and the like. And I never got up as far as York. So it's always been something I've wanted to see. The museum itself is spectacular. The collection there is just an unbelievable uh, collection of historical locomotives going all the way back to Stevenson's Rocket, which, re which really uh, began uh, railroads as far as we know them today, because that was the first commercially viable uh, steam locomotive to be put into use. So they have the original there, and as you'll see, it's not in the best of condition. But they have a lot of other spectacular historical locomotives. Uh, I particularly wanted to see the Mallard, which set the land speed record for steam uh, back in 1938. And uh, it's just one of my favorite locomotives. But they just have a lot of others there that I want to share with you. So let's go ahead, take a look at that. And um, given that this is Christmas, it's going to be a fairly short video. Uh, I don't expect that there will be a lot of people uh, collecting around the TV to watch uh, model railroading videos instead of enjoying the Christmas holiday. But for those of you who want to take a break and, you know, take another look at a video, here it is for you. So let's go ahead and get started with a tour of the National Railway Museum in York in England. Well, here we are today in the station hall at the National Railway Museum in York and take a look around here and then we'll go over to the Great Hall and see some of the even larger equipment and displays. So you can see here they've got these trains laid out here in the platform area to give you a feeling for what they look like at the time. And we'll do a walkthrough. Then we can take a look at some of the older equipment. Beautiful little carriage. Here we have a look inside uh, the Royal Train. Very nice plush interior. And then we have the bedroom area on the Royal Train. Take a look at this magnificent locomotive here. Gladstone. So here we can get a look in. This was Queen Victoria's royal train. Get a peek in at what she would have experienced. Quite a plush operation. And here we can take a look in at uh, one of Queen Elizabeth's royal coaches coming through. A little bit more modern.
sort of an art deco look to the furnishings. And this one here is Queen Mary's. Fully decked out and ready for tea. And finally here's what's left of the original Stevenson's rocket. Step back so I can get that smokestack in. Oh, almost. There we go, we got the whole, whole locomotive. But let's take a closer look at it. Before we go on, I want to ask you to take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It's simple, easy, and free. All you have to do is hit that little red uh, subscribe button, and when the little bell comes up, click on it and click all. Okay, now we've moved into the Great Hall where you've got some really big locomotives. Just walk in amongst them. So this is a large 060 locomotive, the Hippopotamus class. 1874 from the Northeastern Railway. Let's see if we can get a shot inside the cab here. Quite spartan and wide open place to be in the middle of winter or in a driving rain nonetheless. So if you've ever wanted to see the inside workings of a steam locomotive, here you go. So this is a large Bullet 462 Merchant Navy class locomotive where they've uh, basically just cut away to give you a look at the inside of the boiler and the firebox. How'd you like to be shoveling coal into that thing? Look at that. Huh. Come on back, we can look into the cab here. And then finally, the inside of the tender. Okay, we can take a look now. This is a, a replica of the uh, rocket. So you can get an idea of what it would have looked like compared to the one we saw on the other side. And I always wondered about the uh, boiler because you see the, the wooden framing on the outside of the boiler. So that's just an outside covering. And inside you've got a regular proper metal boiler with all of the, uh, the usual boiler tubes. The whole construction was there. Up here we've got the steam dome where the steam would have been collected and brought down through a pipe, diverting it to the cylinder here where you can see another cutaway. So let's take a look at this one. This is interesting. Look at the size of that driver there. It's a good eight feet tall. Going on back. This is a, yeah, Great Northern Railway, number one. Certainly gorgeous. Now this is arguably one of the ugliest British locomotives. Bullets Q1, built during the 1940s under austerity measures during the war. It is a bare bones locomotive designed to pull freight. <laughs> That's it. Built in 1942. There's just nothing to it. It is just bare bones locomotive and that's it. Built for the Southern Railway. Okay, here we have, I believe it's the last of the real flying bananas built by the Great Western Railway in the early 1930s. 
this gorgeous streamlined construction here. Later versions of this, they squared it off and it's just nowhere near as beautiful and streamlined as this one was. And we have a look from the opposite end. So these were made to be run in both directions. So you could just run it out on a branch line, stop and then run back. This area here, you can see where the ladies are standing, there's a double door there for the luggage area. Take a look inside at some of the uh, coverings on the seats here, very plush still. And here we are one of my favorite non-Great Western locomotives, Mallard from the LNER, achieved a steam land speed record uh, on July 3rd, 1938, right after it was built. Hit a speed of 126 miles per hour, but it did establish a record that still stands today. Okay, so here we get a, a look inside the cab of an A4 Pacific Mallard. Got the nice little shelf there where you can keep a pot of tea boiling away. And you had to uh, gauge the distance on that opening to get a shovel load of coal into it. Just a beautiful example of streamlining. Let's take a look at the other side of Mallard here. Take a look here at the Duchess class. Beautiful, even down to the detailing on the uh, marker lamps up front. And here we have the beautiful or face that only a mother could love. Deltix. The specific one, 9002, is the King's own Yorkshire Light Infantry. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the National Railway Museum in York as much as I did. It was great to be able to walk around and touch and look at all of those magnificent locomotives uh, that I've only read about and seen in videos and photographs in the past. So, you know, if you ever get up uh, to the York area, Northern England, make sure that you add that to your itinerary of things to see because it definitely is worth you know, setting aside a day to go in there, take a look around. Although I will warn you that they're getting ready to do some major work on the facility. So parts of it are going to be closed. Parts of the collection will be moved off site. So I got in there just in time, apparently. But and I don't know how long that's going to go on. So if you're going to be going in the next year or so, you might want to check with the museum and find out what parts of the collection are going to be available for the public. So have a great holiday, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week with another video from the DCC Guide. Bye now.